Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a tutorial in Sony Vegas. I'm using Pro 9. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to do slow motion or fast motion, I guess. And I'm also going to show you how to actually render it so it doesn't come out blurry. Because I don't like seeing um, slow motion when it's blurry. I hate that. So I'll show you guys how to render it um, you know, correctly so it comes out as slow motion without the blurriness because I hate that. So. I'm going to show you two ways how to do slow motion. So the first one is it's probably the easier way. Um, all you need to do is take your mouse and you want to put it on the end of the clip. And all you need to do is hold control. And you see that squiggly line there? So basically, you hold control and then you just drag the clip however you want. So if you want it fast, you're going to squeeze it you know, down. And you'll see the clip goes way fast. Or if you want it slower, you know, just do the same thing, but drag it out longer. And you'll see it's nice and slow. So that's one way to do it. Um, if you do it this way, you can keep the audio. So the audio will be really, you know, really high pitched or really low pitched, depending if you're doing slow or fast. Um, the, the more versatile way, I think, um, is a lot better is if you, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> Let me get this back to where it's supposed to be. Okay, so the, the other way to do it is a little bit more versatile, but the only bad thing is you lose the sound. So if you do it this way, the sound will continue to be at the same normal rate, but the audio will obviously be faster or slower. So the way to do this is you're going to right-click on your video track, and you're going to go down to Insert Remove Envelope. Uh, sorry. You're going to go to the clip. So just click the video track, the video part of the clip and then do insert remove envelope and click velocity okay and so this line basically it's if you're familiar with the volume with the uh, the volume track it's the same type of thing where you can make it go up and down however you want so let's pick a spot so all of those clips on falling right so let's say right here we want to slow it down so you're going to double click on the velocity line to make a mark okay and then you're going to double click another one to make another mark and so what you want to do is for slow motion is you want to drag it down. So 0%, if you, if you get it down to 0%, that would be basically f like a, a freeze frame. Okay, so let's just do it at like 31%. So at this point, click it. It slows it down. Oh, pff, whack my head. So, so you can slow it down like that. And of course you can make it, you know, you can drag it out if you want. Maybe go like this and slow it down gradually gradually and then really slow so that's how that's how the velocity one works is you can it's more versatile because uh, you can make it slow and fast or you you know where you want it or if you want another another point here you can make it go slower or whatever and same thing with the fast motion you're just gonna go up you can go up to 300 percent of the uh, normal video so you can drag these around however you want. So that's basically the, the two ways to do slow motion. Um, you know, depending on what you want to do, I like doing it this way more because a lot of times I don't use the audio. I'll use you know music, or whatever, so I don't need the audio. Um, okay, and then the final thing is how to render it. So if you just normally render this uh, this clip how it is now, it's going to come out blurry. Uh, so what you want to do to fix that, so when you render it, you see the nice smooth slow motion, but it's not blurry, is you want to right click on the video track, and you're going to go to switches, and all you need to do is just click disable resample, and then render it like you normally would, and it will come out nice and smooth without the blurriness. So I will show you, uh, you know, a comparison clip of the two, and that's pretty much it for slow motion. So I uh, hope this helped you, and I'll see you guys next time.